Hey guys, it's Deborah here again. Today I'm going to be altering this system card. So this is just a plain white 6x4 system card. You buy them at the news agency in packs of 50 or 100 or whatever. And I thought I might alter that to go in my junk journal. And what I'm going to start with is this Tim Holtz stencil. So this is one of his largest stencils and it's the one with the stars on it. So I'm just going to start by laying down the stencil, taking some of my trusty ink. So this is Distress Ink in Ground Espresso. And I'm just going to start putting some stars on here. I thought that might look kind of cute, so I'm just taking the ink and just rubbing it over the stencil. There's lots and lots of ways to use these stencil. Um, I've got a couple of videos on showing you how to use the stencils in different ways. So you get all those stars. I might do some bigger ones now on this side, so I'll just use the bottom part of the bottom part of the stencil. too neat and ordered do we it's the beauty of these yeah, it's got a bit of grunginess to it but that looks good that's where I'm going to start now I'm going to just ink around the whole card to, just because I can because I like inking the edges of things and I like making them look like you've thrown them on the ground and stomped on them it's just my my take on life maybe I don't know I really just like this sort of grungy, dirty look. It's, um, nothing's complete unless it's got a bit of grunge on it, if you ask me. I've got a few stars on there. And now let's see what else I can put on there. I've just spritzed the card with a bit of water. Just so that the um, impressions of the of the stars will blur a little bit because they're a bit too harsh for me and now I'm just gonna I've got a bit of a mess here because they're water reactive the ink that I'm using is water reactive when you wet that and then rub it what you'll find is and it's particularly coming off but what you'll find is that the stuff that's on the on the craft sheet will start to come off because I've been using this craft sheet for other things and so you get this lovely on top of the texture that I put around the edges, you now get this lovely grungy looking piece of paper. And you can barely see the lines on it anymore, but that's fine as far as I'm concerned. It's just about using the things that I happen to have in the drawer and turning them into something else. 